Hey everyone, so today we're going to plan the month of June. I'm kind of excited for this month because this is when we're going to start transitioning to our new house. If you've been watching my videos or following along on Instagram, I think I mentioned it there that we found a house and we're going to start moving June and July. So not only do we have a lot of transition happening in June, but there's a lot of events. So I'm glad that I decided to plan my month two weeks ahead of time because there's just so much going on. So as usual, I have my planner pouch with my stickers, all my markers and tweezers and all of that. And then I have my iPad, which I use for my Google Calendar. And then I'll take this out. I kind of had to hide something over there. And I'll switch my page marker to my monthly planning routine. So the first thing I do is look for my personal items on my Google Calendar. So how do I want to mark this? So we do have icons. This is the May sticker sheet, but on every monthly sticker kit, we have circle icons, which I have been using, but I've also been using doodles. So let me see if I want to use doodles again. I kind of like how these look. So I might do that again for June. So on June 2nd, my daughter is graduating from eighth grade. So I'll use balloons. So yeah, she's graduating from eighth grade. And then on the third is my niece's birthday. So I mentioned before in other videos that I don't put birthdays on my monthly spread. I mainly just put my husband's and my kids' birthdays just because I use my monthly spread for project planning and not necessarily like more detailed stuff. It's more of an overview, but I've been trying to get better at sending out cards and gifts. So I kind of need to do that ahead of time. So I started marking birthdays on my monthly spread now. So then my other niece's birthday is on the 6th because sometimes when I see it on my Google Calendar the week of, that's too late to send things out to certain people. So this way I can see way ahead of time. And then on the 10th is my daughter's last day of school. I will mark that with a bow. I use this for like reminders or take note of something. I really like how the doodles pop on the page. And then both of my daughters are attending a camp at our church this week. So I think I'm gonna use my washi tape for the first time on a monthly spread. So we have this new skinny washi. It comes in four colors. So there's this charcoal, this gray, uh, like taupe-ish color, and this like ecru color. And I was debating if I want to use ecru or gray. I think I might try gray this time. So that will be from the 13th to the 17th. So I designed this skinny washi for the shop because this is perfect for marking off a set of days like this. And I like skinny washi to do that so it doesn't take up so much space because I do have, you know, other things to mark on my calendar. So I need to leave room for that. That's the 15th and then Thursday and Friday. And I put it at the top. I've been putting all my icons and then this washi tape at the top because I like to put personal items at the top and then shop items down below. Perfect. Is that straight? I think that's better. So then that's for camp. And then we have Father's Day on the 19th. I think I'll put these balloons. This is where I struggle with using circle icons or doodles because for the doodles, we don't have holiday doodles, but on our monthly kits, this is May, so this is for Mother's Day, but on the June kit, we would have something here for Father's Day, which would be nice. But since I'm doing doodles, I'm gonna use balloons. Basically, I use balloons for any kind of occasion or celebration, and then I've been using cakes for birthdays. And then another birthday on the 22nd. And then we have a quinceanera on the 25th. It's actually for her birthday. And then we have one more thing on the last week of June, which is my daughter and my husband are going to a camp. 
So my daughter is going to a camp with our church and my husband is like chaperoning and helping lead stuff. I don't know if you guys know this little fun fact, but my husband was a youth minister for many, many years. So he's really involved with all the church stuff and he used to run this event actually. And so he's going to go help out since my daughter's going to be there. It'll be her first year because it's a high school thing. So that'll be super fun. So even though this is technically in July, I'm putting the washi tape all the way through Friday because I just want to see that it's the full week on this June view. So I think that's it for personal. Then I go ahead and go into my monthly tasks. So all these recurring tasks on my monthly routines. That's where my color dots come in. So we start off with sub things, which I use this blackish color. So on the first, open subs. On the 14th, close subs. And then the plan is to ship subs on the 20th. I always had to put a disclaimer here that that's the goal, but really we commit to shipping subs by the last week of the month. Usually we like to do sub love the last Friday of the month. So that's it for subs. And then for releases in the shop, we try to do it every Friday. So on all these stickers, I'm using our mini versions, our doodles, our circle icons, and our transparent shapes come in standard size which is about 0.35 diameter approximately. And then the minis are like about 0.25, I believe. So I like to use minis on my monthly spread, especially because as you can see, it gives me a lot of room to put multiple stickers in there. So after new releases, I'll put in all my videos. So I don't know if you guys have been following me here on YouTube, but I've been trying to, and I've been getting a little bit better at posting more than one video a week, sometimes two, but the goal is three. And last week I was able to post three, so I was super proud of myself. <laughs> <laughs> for doing that. It's pretty hard. I don't know if you guys really know. I know some of you guys make videos, so you do know, but it's a lot of work to film a video and to edit it, especially to the level of editing I do. You guys don't even know. I pause a lot between my words, and so you guys don't have to suffer through that. I edit all of those out. I know I don't have to, and I know I'm gonna probably get comments saying I don't need to do that, it's fine, but I prefer it that way. So there's a lot of work that goes into making videos and to do three a week is a lot, but I'm trying it out because I do genuinely wanna post three a week because typically my plan is for Tuesdays to be a video tip, Saturdays to do some kind of rotating video. It's going to be a flip through, a vlog, a sub reveal, and like setting up for a new month type of thing. So those are like regular videos. And then Sundays, like this video here is a plan with me. And I really do like the idea of doing those three type of videos. So I'm not arbitrarily just choosing the number three, but also I want to be realistic. So I'm trying it out, but if it doesn't work out, then I'll just maybe do two videos a week or something like that. So those are all my videos. And then there's a couple of extra kind of content type things I like to post. So on the first of the month, showing my monthly spread. And then this video here would be setting up for a new month. So setting up for July. So here I'd like to post a picture on Instagram just of the July setups. So yeah, I think that's it for all my color coding stuff. And then down here, even though I don't have the June sticker kit, I'm going to go ahead and use May. So on my monthly sticker kit, I use the goals and projects headers. So I put goals on the left side of my spread and projects on the right. And so goals are like my top three goals for the month and projects are like secondary things I wanna work on for the month. So goals are like big picture, top priority things. And then projects are just some extra things. And then the side column is where I put my content and design schedule. So this is how my spread looks before the pen. I'll go ahead and start filling this in so that's it. That's everything filled out. I did leave a little bit of space at the front of these two weeks so I can add a little travel doodle. I don't have them on me so I just left a spot so I can add those in after. 
but yeah pretty much everything else is planned out super busy month so it's so nice to have june all set up and ready to go and i can start june with a plan so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you like to see me set it up and then the next frame is it's all filled out. <laughs> Let me know what you guys like because I always struggle if this is super repetitive because every month I pretty much do the same things but I have been getting feedback that you guys kind of like these plan with me videos because you just kind of put it on. You do your planning at the same time. It's just like a relaxing time for us to plan together. I enjoy it myself. Let me know in the comments below if you have any comments or suggestions. I'd be happy to hear them. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye. Thank you.